Hello. So, earlier today, I did a video about my deepest sorrow and it turned into almost a half hour video because I had so much to say. I'm going to try and condense it a little bit by saying this, that I am really saddened by the fact that people just don't like to think deeply these days you know and so it, it seems almost like I'm in a class by myself when I for instance take scripture and I go deep with it and I pull up different implications and I juxtapose different scriptures and look at the deeper meaning and it's like even when I'm sitting with other churchgoers you know when when you look at something that's implied but not expressly stated in scripture you know they, they give you this weird look and they even say things like oh that's just Eric being Eric uh, uh, and and don't even want to recognize what's implied or in some cases what's said very expressly such as Isaiah 45 7 where it says I form that and create darkness I make good and create evil I the Lord do all these things and People don't want to stay on those sorts of scriptures and really tease out what it all means. Uh, when it comes to politics, people make very dismissive statements. They complain about different problems. They're worried about uh, what Trump's going to do. Uh, but they don't want to have deep, meaningful conversations about politics. All they want to do is express emotion and then never talk about solutions and so I find myself being this one person out of I don't know a million people maybe maybe one in a million uh, world citizens do like to think as much as me but because we're so few and far between I'm just not meeting these others and uh, at any rate you know, pe people even want to dismiss well thought out things because they didn't think of it and, and they don't want to think. And uh, yeah, I, I like using the Bible, uh, not just because I'm a firm believer in God, not just because I love God a lot more than I'll ever love Jesus Christ, because God's a lot harder and tougher, but also because Christianity has been around for about 2,000 years. So many people over those 2,000 years have claimed to follow Christ. So many people have read the Bible, and yet they still only scratch the surface. So, irrespective of your faith, uh, I mean, I think just those truths, when you juxtapose them, really tease out how, how little people think. You know, and I can even remember during my lifetime when people thought more deeply about these things and when they talked about uh, God doing both good and evil and when they talked about God giving humanity enough rope to hang ourselves and so forth and so on and they, and they talked about what it means in terms of the just code that the Bible gives us uh, they seriously considered issues around uh, what type of attire is appropriate for men or for women or in church and off in and even if you didn't like what they concluded you, you in hindsight you can now appreciate the fact that they at least were thinking about these things but people hate to think these days you know and then when you are a deep thinker and you do draw some uh, well thought out conclusions they want to tell you that you're wrong. You know, I've, I've actually sat in Bible study and, and I mentioned some interesting conclusion and someone says, oh, that's just Eric being Eric. Uh, and they just kind of blow it off. I'm like, wait a minute, you know, there is something here. I didn't just make it up. I juxtaposed scripture A and scripture B, you know, and let's talk about this. You know, but they just don't want to and they, and they come back with things like, well, 
if it's not expressly stated in scripture or I've never heard a preacher say this in the past, you know, so I'm not going to entertain that idea. And they're just programmed, the robotic, you know, and, 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 and when they want to mock the person who wants to think deeply or who does think deeply, I should say, that makes me want to smack the fuck out of them. I'll stop there.